Footnotes from the Life Application Study Bible. John's disciples fasted, went without food, as a sign of mourning for sin and preparation for the Messiah's coming. Jesus' disciples did not need to fast because he is the Messiah and was with them. Jesus did not condemn fasting. He himself fasted. Rather, he emphasized that fasting must be done for the right reasons. The arrival of the kingdom of heaven was like a wedding feast with Jesus as the bridegroom. His disciples, therefore, were filled with joy. It would not be right to mourn or fast while the bridegroom was present. John the Baptist's message was harsh, and it focused on repentance that would result in obedience to God's law. When people look at God's law and compare themselves to it, they realize how far they fall short and how badly they need to repent. Jesus' message focused on life, the result of turning from sin and turning to him. John's disciples had the right start, but they needed to take the next step and trust in Jesus. Where is your focus? On your obedience to God's law or on the saving work of Jesus Christ? In biblical times, wine was not kept in glass bottles, but in goatskins sewn around the edges to form watertight bags. New wine expanded as it fermented, stretching its wine skin. After the wine had aged, the stretched skin would burst if more new wine was poured into it. New wine, therefore, was always put into new wine skins. Jesus used this description to explain that he had not come to patch up the old religious system of Judaism with its rules and traditions. His purpose was to bring in something new, though it had been prophesied for centuries. This new message, the gospel, said that Jesus Christ, God's Son, had come to earth to offer all people forgiveness of sins and reconciliation with God. The gospel did not fit into the old, rigid, legalistic system of religion that the Jewish leaders were promoting. Jesus' message brought a fresh start that would expand, stretch, and change people. This message will always remain new in a sense because it must be accepted and applied in every generation. When we follow Jesus, we must be prepared for new ways to live, new ways to look at people, and new ways to serve.